This video is explaining the dry needling stimulation. First of all, you have to check the patient. First, we have to inspect the patient. After that, palpate the correct position where the patient feel discomfort. Maybe this is uh, cervical neuralgia or maybe only muscle soreness or muscle stiffness. This case a severe upper back pain uh, because the posture is difficult for this patient. His job is like a long sitting and his posture is not correct. So he feels more discomfort in the upper region mainly in the shoulder and the shoulder blade region upper thoracic region so first of all i relocate the trigger area this is the trigger area so locate the needle the needle size is two inch you can either use two inch or three inch you can use the first step just to tap that needle uh, to cross the skin area so the next point I am searching and I got the next point is not uh, it is not uh, far from that uh, first point around 5 to 10 min between uh, 5 to 7 in between 5 centimeter you have to put the next point so the next point is this the next point I am placing more tender area not more than 7 cm like that not more than 10 cm okay because we have to connect the positive and negative points to this region the next point I am locating in the shoulder blade region where he feels more difficulty so first I am uh, placing the more tender area next nearby any tender area he feels make that the next point so this is not much pain uh, the patient feels it's not much pain it's a little pain maybe some patients didn't know about that pain also the second stage is little painful second stage is to insert deeply little deeply to, uh, to the muscle region feels some patients feel pain that is according to the uh, movement of needle by hands if it is little bit is fast uh, the patient will never feels a pain or a soreness so this case on the left side i am uh, changing the position than the right uh, than the right side because the pain is different from the right side different uh, type of so this is the mode of inserting the needle it's called fincer grip fincer grip holding the index and thumb in the same way and slowly insert half to one inch or two inch according to that <coughs> surface area you have to check with the surface area which muscles are located there which bone is superficial and you will feel when you insert the needle you will feel that is bony area or muscle area will feel you, surely you, you will get an idea so the needle insertion uh, you have to thoroughly you have to give some import uh, some practice in that area so that you can easily locate the needle the next step is fixing the lead the lead I already tell you the two lead one is positive and one is negative a nearby points you have to select so the color of the uh, lead is we have to identify which lead is connected with the machine for the identification is the color change the wire no other thing so on the base it's better to place 
the clip on the base of the needle why because uh, the jerking will be less if you put that uh, clip on the top region uh, the whole area will uh, the needle will be jerking more so for a proper stimulation you have to put the downside of the needle near to the skin area that's better so after fixing all the area so the red one you will get a correct idea the red which area like that and the green wire which area we are giving like that so the first step is the setting the time that is around 20 minutes the next step is the which type of pulse we are going with the first lead it's a uh, intermittent pulse next now the machine is on now slowly increasing the first lead slowly and asking the patient by asking the patient it is okay you are uh, okay with the stimulation okay with this power means it is okay with this power so and also you see the face of the patient uh, if it is okay you can increase if it is not okay you can comfortably place the current so one by one you have to give stimulation one by one leads and after all finishes you have again asked the patient it is okay for you you can bear the pain of stimulation uh, he tells it is little difficulty so it is okay he tells it is I can't bear the pain you have to reduce the stimulation power so I again ask the stimulation power is less you have to Im increase the power so you see you will see a stimulation in that particular muscles area not only the muscle area the surrounding area you will see a stimulation <coughs> So after maybe uh, three or five uh, minutes later, uh, the patient will adjust with this uh, the stimulation. The some patient will fall to sleep because it is very relaxing treatment. It is very pain relieving treatment. Okay. So after twenty minutes, I'm removing the needle, uh, the clip from the needle this is the way to remove the needle uh, clip from the needle okay after 20 minutes it's automatically uh, the machine will be off we are setting the time right that's why so after removing the clip from the needle you will see you will see a red mark on that particular area we are inserted the needle so slowly uh, not slowly a little uh, speed you can take remove the needle and after remove the needle uh, apply a little spirit spirit sponge just massage rub there okay you will see a reddish area that means that area is stimulated good and also the muscles are free the stiffness will be very less 